Uh, Paul, the EPA is going to announce today that they're going to allow a 15% blend of ethanol in the in the gasoline mixture. Uh, does that spell good news or bad news for the boating industry? For boating industry, it'd be bad news. It'll end up costing the boat owners a lot of money, especially on the older boats that are not rigged or uh, for better terminology, rigged for the ethanol fuel. The motors won't stand it. Now, the uh, we were walking up here and we saw a small boat over there, uh, $10,000. So we're talking in some serious cash if there's prob problems with a, uh, with a boat, correct? That, correct. It depends on the amount of time and what has happened to the vessel as to what the repair would cost at that point in time. Uh, on the older boats, so we've already run into the problems where the ethanol is actually attacking some of the older fuel lines into them, which can, if not corrected, cause a fuel leakage inside the vessel and an explosion upon startup. Looking over your shoulder here, Paul, it says contains 10% ethanol. You, so you already have ethanol in, in the mixture uh, with, with the, these boats now. What would a, uh, How have boats been reacting already with ethanol? They've given us a lot of problems. Uh, both mechanically as well as fuel delivery systems. Uh, it's just the more you're going to add on to it, the, the worse the problem is going to be. And some of the older boats, you're going to end up actually having to do some major repower work onto them to have them accept the newer f fuel into it. And there again, it's going to cost the consumer a lot more money that he doesn't need to be spending. Now, the, uh, the 10%, so if we go to 15%, that's 50% more ethanol in into the mixture. What, what does that do to a boat? Give us an example of what it does to a boat engine. Well, if the fuel system is halfway clean, or halfway clean, the ethanol will actually help clean the fuel system to a certain extent. Well, at the same time, you're doing that there, you're stopping up all the filters on the engines. And a lot of people, uh, when they're operating a vessel, they don't know that problem is existing until they burn, lean the motor up and then you either uh, will kill the, the exhaust valves on the motor, the intake valves and or the pistons when you melt them and a very extensive repair. Now probably someone sitting at home would say, well, it's simple. We'll use 15% uh, ethanol for cars and uh, for boats, we'll only use 5 or 10%. But that, that, that means you guys are getting a special blend and that raises the price, doesn't it? Yeah, correct. It would, it would in, the long, it, in all of it. But at the same time, I don't see why they couldn't do that. Mm -hmm. it, it would be a little bit more beneficial for the consumer to pay a little bit extra for the gas with very little or no ethanol into it than have the major repair work that's being going on, ongoing since they started this ethanol problem. Now, uh, last question. Uh, would you applaud a 15% ethanol blend not not all refiners that it's not a mandate they don't have to use it the EPA is just allowing them to put a 15% blend if they want to do you see uh, uh, boat docks like this fueling stations adopting the 15% or is it something they'll stay away from if they could stay away from it I'd say stay away from it because it's gonna cause astronomical uh, repair problems later down the line it may not show up for the first six, three to six months, but after that day, it will start to show up. Uh, the more ethanol, the way I understand this is working, that the longer the gas sits in the fuel tank from the vessel not being used, the lower the octane rating is going into the gas. It, it, the, the octane actually lowers faster with ethanol enhanced gas than it does with just plain gasoline. And if, you, if the gas has been in there for four or five months, especially on the, some of the older vessels, uh, you end up with a real bad detonation problem. And on the bigger ones, when the motors are in the salon area underneath the living quarters and you're on the bridge driving the boat, you can't hear it until it's too late. So a 15% uh, blend of ethanol for boats, is this going, going to be a good thing or a bad thing for the industry? It's going to be a bad thing. It'd be a good thing for the service industry on the marine side because it's going to give us a lot more work. But as far as the average consumer, it's going to cost them a lot more money. Uh, the way I understand the ethanol is going into gas. Here we go again. Bottom line, if uh, there's a 15% blend of ethanol put into the 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 uh, supply chain, is that a good thing or a bad thing for boats? It's a bad thing. Uh, you end up with more repair time, repairs being done because of the fifth raising of the ethanol problem, especially on the older vessels where they're not really set up for it and were not designed for ethanol at all. Uh, you still have the fuel lines on the older vessels that will actually be eaten away faster 
because of the more ethanol into them. The fuel hoses themselves are not designed to run ethanol. They're only designed to run gasoline. And the newer hoses onto them will have the alcohol uh, stamping onto it from the Coast Guard. And if not properly repaired, the boat could explode with gas from fumes, leaking gas.